Advances in aeronautical engine design have led to the Sabre. We're actually at Reaction Engine's test site at B9. What is very significant about this is that we are in the process of testing a very, very important development in aerospace propulsion, which is a, a pre-cooler, a device for cooling the air, entering a high-speed engine, so that the engine can continue to operate pretty much as normal. This means that uh, we're going to be able to fly at speeds of Mach 5 pretty easily in the future. It is in effect a rocket engine burning hydrogen and oxygen. That in itself is not unusual, but whilst in the atmosphere the oxygen is taken from the air, cooled to liquid temperatures and fed directly into the combustion chamber, once outside the atmosphere, the engine resorts to the liquid oxygen carried on board, like a conventional rocket engine. Skylon will be powered by two Sabre engines and operate like a conventional aircraft capable of flying directly into orbit, transporting 15 tons of cargo into space and returning for a runway landing. We're looking at a revolution in transportation equivalent to the jet engine and uh, access to space, access to anywhere in the world within four hours is on the cards. Once you've got access to space on that basis, that's the stepping stone to anywhere in the universe and a very exciting future for the human race. Although government contracts are lucrative for these private companies, many firmly believe tourism is the way to fund future space development. For those cashed up civilian tourists, Space Adventures team has designed a circumlunar mission using a unique combination of existing and flight tested Russian technology. The combination of the Soyuz spacecraft and the lunar module will provide ample living space for your approximately six day journey and the fuel required for you to leave low Earth orbit. Perhaps the most ambitious is Elon Musk's SpaceX interplanetary transport system, helping make humanity a multi-planet species. The initial design objective of the vehicle is to launch a variety of missions to Mars and other destinations in the beyond Earth orbit portion of the solar system. The large payload capacity of the launch vehicle, with the ability to place 300 tons into low Earth orbit, places it into the super heavy lift class. The ITS launch vehicle's first stage is designed to be reusable, following a return to the launch site and vertical landing after each launch. What's new on this vehicle is full reusability of even the second stage and the spacecraft as well. Cheap, safe space travel for all is just... <laughs>